That makes sense. Well, maybe I'll give you another case study. You want to do one? Absolutely, yeah. We can totally do one. Uh, I mean, you can. I got can one do. over here, too. Oh, yeah? yeah I'm going to do, it it's a client. It's a client. Yeah, it's gonna do it on me. It's a client. I'm going to do it on me. So, because I, like, so my question is, right? So, um, and you want to draw it on the board? Or you wanna go yeah. Through it? Or do you want to pause this first and say anything? Absolutely. Hit resume on this bad boy. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So now we got a new case study on the board. Chris is back in the house. Yeah, so sorry guys, I had to take this call. We got Tyler um, in the hot seat. But so, so all right, so my question is- Pick and, me apart, it's, Chris. It's, no, 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 it's a little different. Pick me apart, Chris. <laughs> 50, what do you need a $50,000 car for right now? You're <laughs> just turned 30. It's a truck. Gosh, Have man. you seen oh, yeah, how much truck? Have you seen my truck? <laughs> it's awesome. It's worth just playing. It's playing. Um, credit card, 12K, okay. Um, these are rough numbers. Yeah, yeah, ballpark, ballpark. It's all good. Okay, so, so how do you intertwine like infinite banking into all this? Ah, love it. So, let's because say, he's got a policy. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was asking him. But it doesn't have. But the it's cash. not. I mean, it's not so mature yet. So it's not. It's so not mature yet. Yeah. So I don't know how much time we have. You think we'll have enough time to do mine? No. Possibly if if I do my five o'clock call here. It. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. That's we cool. can order yeah, drop food or something. Yeah, yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. We want to get food because this is content. actually a client that you referred to me. What's or he name? came to me through your channel. He watched the videos. He never called you, but he called me. But that's how he came to me. Oh, okay. He came to me. Yeah. I gave him a consultation well, comes out. on Velocity <laughs> Banking. He followed my instructions. That's awesome. He wanted to do infinite banking, but then now he's paused on infinite banking. And his whole thing is he doesn't know if he should proceed with infinite banking now or wait until he pays off the debt based on his goals. It's a great question. And yeah. Well, this case, is going to be good because my policy, case is bank's policy and Lindsay's is also. Yeah. yeah. So, so let's, let's address that because it, it does intertwine in your situation. Yeah. You have a choice to either prolong getting out of debt and starting infinite banking early. You'll come out better in the long run, I would argue, with infinite banking, although it would take you longer to get out of debt okay. because you have that base cost. With infinite mm -hmm. banking, it takes time to, to grow it. Mm -hmm. So if the client is like, hey, I'm okay with extending my debt-free date mm -hmm. because I want to lock in that insurability, I want to lock in the cost now, and yeah, all those and different you're also going to be creating an asset. You're creating an asset while simultaneously sure. getting out of debt. Yeah. So. What is really popular in my community is we, we use a debt tool that could either be a all-in-one loan, first lien HELOC, second lien HELOC, PLOC. Whatever the credit limit is, following the rules, if you're already putting in a certain amount of money into your policy on a monthly basis, which yeah. most people do, just from you switching from monthly to annual, we can justify the borrowing cost in a debt tool to max fund your policy on an annual basis, saving you money. So instead of you paying monthly, yeah, having the fees and costs, having and the fees and costs, along with that. Yeah. we paid on an annual, and it's going to improve the cash value internal rate of return because it's growing day one. Yeah. So then the question becomes, well, how do we pay that back after we just max fund the policy? So clients in my community, we we, we chunk from the debt tool max fund the policy, right? Max fund IBC. There's a cost here. We, we will run the numbers and see what that cost is. Typically, whatever the cost is here gets offset by max funding the policy, by not paying your policy on a monthly basis, you save money there and you're earning money day one in the cash value. Then you borrow out of the cash value and you hit the debt that you wanted to hit. So then you're like, well, now there's an interest rate on here. Right. All right. So like, how do we deal with that? By doing velocity banking over here, by the time you hit the anniversary date over here, this is at zero and you're doing it again. You're max funding. But now because you have more cash flow, because you did wipe out a debt, Compound. it compounds. Not only can you max fund it, but you also might have room to pay back some of that previous loan in here. Hence, reducing your interest costs over here. And right. now you've got velocity banking, infinite banking working together rather than against each other. Understood. 
Okay. And there's a lot of fun at, math. Like, I just like to see your reactions. <laughs> I gotta see the number. I gotta there's like a lot of fun math in this. Yeah, yeah I was I mean, gonna say, fun. I can see how the guy like you. I see an Excel fun. sheet in my future. It's That's fun. all I can say. I promise you it's fun. When you do yeah. You're like, oh, and then wrap that with a credit card at 0% on your bills You guys should stuff. do a private Zoom together building a spreadsheet on it. Oh, yeah. He, he'd build a, a I, I had a client build his spreadsheet. own spreadsheet, yeah. and I put it in my course so clients have used it. If you develop something, I'm more than happy to I share mean, it. I'm not saying how many numbers good <laughs> at it. I wouldn't say I'm like... I'm telling you. Yeah. Okay. So, that's awesome. here's the thing. You are you want to get out of debt. Is that So that's the other thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I like to... You know, I like, um, you know, there, like I want to, there's, I don't, there's certain debt I don't mind, right? Like, but yes, ultimately I want to get out of, out of debt. So I consumer can, debt, would you say? Yeah. Like that's a no brainer. Yeah. Consumer we could debt. leave the mortgage alone. And I don't even mind leaving like one of the cars. Like I, I would like to, right? I mean, obviously yeah. that's the goal. Like I don't want to own anything yeah. in the car, but really I get more nervous of this, right? Cause that's. That least, payment's going to shoot up. That payment's going to, you know, the student loan. And then, you know, these three, you know, I would say are in control, but like, you know, as, like they could easily get out of control. I mean, and not saying, I mean, I got, I learned my lesson of right. letting these credit cards get out of control at 20%. Did you, did 20%. you though? Did you learn your lesson? <laughs> did you? I think I did. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> it took me like, it took me like three years to get out of Yeah. I'll play it. So yeah. what I was telling him Chris while we were uh, not recording was he's got a ton of equity in the home mm -hmm. uh, Space Coast Credit Union pretty good bank they do like intro rate offers of like 2.99 or 3 you still or yeah on a, on a home equity line of credit second position and so and so what type like that that entry what does that run for because I was telling about I need six a months to a year right you need a roof yeah, yeah. so I'm like look, 20 grand 35 oh Right. So, but at the same time, instead I mean, of financing and paying an astronomical amount of interest costs, you could run it through a HELOC. That costs plus getting out of debt. Yeah, right? because you I mean, do it simultaneously. Because my my thing is like, so the reason why because he was going to use his savings to pay for his roof. Where I'm like, okay, you could hold yeah. on to the savings. Everybody you could dump that into IBC, savings. borrow out, and then maybe you do something like that. Some people do that, or you could velocity bank, where it's like you know you're gonna pay a cost yeah. to finance this business. Yeah. Either I eat. It's, I'm say I'm gonna save because I'll be able to finally because we just bought last year, so we put a bunch of money. That's why yeah, that's like where I value our house is now. And you did a lot of work in the other renovations. Yeah, so that's yeah, that's yeah. our net mortgage. Yeah. Everything else was I did out of out of saving. Cash flow. Probably. Okay. What's yeah, something cash flow. you always say? You're either paying interest or forfeiting or yeah is that it's an opportunity you either you either pay interest to the bank or you lose the ability to earn interest on the money when you spend the cash right like hindsight i should have dumped all the money that i did on the house into a policy first you know hindsight 2020 but i was kind of doing it as like i was paying as i went right that basically all that cash flow was like every month is just going into the house yeah. And, and so, you know, but, so I haven't been able to drop the PMI. I've been like fighting the mortgage company to drop the PMI and, and then, so I need a roof. So like, I know that like, it's gonna, I don't know, you're, you're from down here. So like homeowners insurance has been killing me. Right. So I can get, I can save $3,000 a year just by getting a new roof on my homeowner's insurance. And then yeah. PMI will fall off, which saves me another $200 a month. And that's cash flow. And the other thing you do is remove escrow from the property. I have a ton of my clients do that. And then we pay escrow out of our debt tools because the money is sitting in an account doing nothing mm. where that money could be sitting in your HELOC, driving the balance down further and further. That's a good idea. So I've had clients do that. It, it, it makes a difference here and there. So you pull it out of the escrow. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like and it. And then um, I don't know how you feel about I got this, like ten grand when, when people overpay on a debt that isn't costing them interest. Oh, you have just zero for the percent. sake of trying to pay it off by the expiration date. So what yeah. I have had in my uh, community, where I'm like, look, instead of overpaying here, why not eliminate the debt that is hitting you on interest mm -hmm. by the time this expires mm -hmm. you'll have the money to either do a balance transfer to another credit card zero percent or if we have a debt tool throw it in the debt tool and you're not paying any any interest yeah because of the amount of interest you say and then if you here, had to at that point in time refinance this 12k or whatever it'll 
be less than that no matter exactly. what. But you yeah. could. So there's you, multiple you, you stacking. Can definitely every six to twelve months get a new zero percent interest on your credit card. As long as your yeah. utilization is down to under thirty five percent. Yeah. That's yeah. the key. So if you're limited, if you're high, and you have like a 700, I have a score. very high. I yeah, but you will. We both yeah. have high credit yeah. scores, and your, your score will my drop. Credit if limit is pretty high. high. Yeah, but if you get it down to 30, percent uh-huh. and that's where sometimes even like the, like that high interest personal term loan is is a smart bridge sometimes because let's say you get a prosper loan or an upgrade or start mm-hmm. you know for nine thousand um, at 15, percent right? Um, and then you pay down that credit card to under 30%. Now you can unlock a new 12 month, 18 month, zero percent interest promotion credit card. But the, for I was $20, always thousand dollars. I'm sensing like we got to do a workshop here. Like, but where I, also, I come in and do cash flow hacking, and, I, and you do velocity <laughs> banking, you do business, like, business credit, yeah, access. But I, yeah. so, so, Dude. and that's because I don't know. So I'm asking this question. So, but I was always taught, and I was probably taught wrong. Chris tells me that every other day, but (laughs) that when you do stuff like that, it takes 30 to 60 days for those credit things to like kind of refresh. So part of the part of this is all strategy, right? So um, we have a program in Orange Valley that it's called strategic credit lines. We call it that because that's the whole point. It's it's strategic. You need another time. All of this, what Denzel's teaching you right now, like you can like some people gas grasp this like this. And then they want to go put it into effect tomorrow, but that's not smart. You need at least a month or two months of planning just to know that date that you're going to make that transaction happen. Because if you do this wrong and your goal is to eliminate, you know, all the interest, Uh you're not going to, you're not going to reach your goal because you might bump into a situation where you're using a personal line of credit or a HELOC or something, and you're trying to pay a bill and it's not letting you. Because you got to move the money from this account to that ca- account. Why is that happening on the day that you're planning to create to do the transaction? Why? Because you didn't you didn't take the time yeah. to do the research and plan in advance. And what's usually healthy is when people are just starting out with Velocity Bank, it already takes about one to two months to get a HELOC to get the approval, go through mm. the process, and during that whole process, you're all the running the numbers with you. Where I'm like over and over and over again. I'm like I'm finding out. When are all the days money comes out? When are all the days money comes in? And that's how we're strategically pointing at, this is the most efficient day for you to yeah. make that withdrawal or deposit. And all we're doing is manipulating the rate because that's what you can do with a simple interest rather than amortize and set. That's it, you know? Hmm. When, you, when you pay extra on an amortized debt, the moment you pay extra, the interest is gone. You'll never see it again, right? It, it, it cancels yeah. out. With simple interest, you don't even give it time to accrue. Right. <laughs> you just literally don't pay anything, right? And whatever you do pay, it gets offset. Now, the other really unique thing that we can do here with, you're already running bills through a credit card each and every month. And so, there's, there's a little crack in the system here because you're not actually paying them off each and every month, like you said, right? Sometimes yeah. you're like, ah, Sometimes shoot, I got hit with interest, right? Yeah. Well, a good way around that is another 0% card Right? If you rerouted this because you're overpaying on nothing, meanwhile you're getting hit with interest on a bill, so your bills are actually costing you more money than they should. It's right? the management Sometimes. side. It's yeah. the management side, right? Oh, but watch this. this. Simplifying your life completely, we can look at all of your bills that we could pay on an annual basis. Subscriptions, car insurance, um, maybe a phone bill, maybe a light bill. And if we could save money by switching from monthly to annual, throw it on a card, 0%, right you get temporary cash flow that you now can throw on a on a debt that you that you were wanting to hit and so now we got 500 here we got 225 here 605 there plus 5k dude that car's done in 6 months if that yeah on on a, so it would instantly get killed with the HELOC cuz it's gone right you you make the chunk if we right. got Say you got a hundred thousand dollar HELOC, and you chunk thirty nine to get your feet wet, so you pay off girlfriend's car, and you say, "Here, babe, it's paid off." Right now she's like, "Wait a minute, how the hell?" And then you get to have the conversation now and say, "You know what? I'm on board. Let's combine incomes." You combine incomes, the thirty nine k is now in a HELOC at four percent, let's say five percent, which is less than six point seven. Four percent becomes less than two. 
whatever you pay gets offset by your cashback rewards because you're running like five thousand you're you're getting almost a, maybe a hundred i don't know yeah i mean at least it's probably yeah, I don't even want to. And I haven't, then if I haven't if, run my Quicken in a while because I've been a little. You know, I'm a little <laughs> <laughs> look at how much we're spending. Don't ask so. questions you don't want the answers <laughs> to. That kind of thing. Just like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine paying a certain amount of bills up like front for the whole idea. year. Yeah, I like that escrow. Idea and, now, and the escrow and the removal of the PMI. The, the whole idea of Velocity Bank is to have all your money. In, in one central so location. So what, like, what is the debt tool? Movement. Like, how does that work? So that would be your home equity line of credit, okay. the debt tool. So that's just a slang for gotcha. okay. PLOC, PLOC gotcha. credit card. And, and is it is it easy, as easy as like, all right, I'm moving money from this account to this account? Very simple at first. It's a little weird. You're like, why am I doing this, right? But when you bank at the same location where your debt tool is at, so let's say you went with Space Coast, let's just say. Yeah. I would want you to have all your income going to Space Coast. Okay, so that's like a... So there's that transition. Sometimes that can be a bit of a headache, but like you said, I'm not loyal to Bank of America or Chase. No, yeah, no, it's just like... And usually with credit unions, I could probably remove any fees you pay at the bank. Usually with credit unions, they have little to no fees on their accounts and stuff. So it makes it, there you go, even more savings. Um, the the efficiency of keeping your money at the at the same bank when you're doing velocity banking makes life very easy because you can instantaneously move money out of the HELOC to the checking, checking pays the bill. Paycheck lands in checking, eight o'clock in the morning, you wake up, boom, you move it into the HELOC. And it'll, it won't even, you're not, you're not even giving it time to register. And so, the, the and so for, for somebody that likes that little like buffer, Okay. And you still like keep some right, like let's ten. talk risk, right? Because yeah. velocity banking comes with some inherent risk. What's the inherent risk? Number one, they could freeze your HELOC if you I've never seen it over the thousands of people I worked with not have not had one client get their HELOC frozen. All the articles I've read on the internet, all the history I've the research I've done, people did not pay their HELOC, they missed the payment, or they over leveraged, they maxed out the credit line, plus the, their real estate value dropped and that's when the bank pulled your revolving access so that's all they do first is they pull it so they freeze it and then they can go to the next step of canceling your HELOC so that's an inherent risk there but if you're disciplined it's not gonna happen yeah I mean right? and I would like let's say so that's know. one inherent risk now the other buffer is Denzel I just need to have some cash somewhere like yeah, that I can have, sleep at night okay, in my cool. pocket that's okay, cool. What's that? Uh, what's that? What's that number? Let's get to that number. We put it over here. We don't include the 30k or the 10k or the 20, whatever that number is. We don't even have to include it in Velocity Banking. So it's over here. Great. Okay. No big deal. That would make my wife feel better. And then we just stick <laughs> to your four numbers. Care. Yeah, we just stick to your four numbers. Now, some clients, um, those that are watching, they're like every dollar they're running through it because they're. They get it, comfortable it, with it. You yeah, know what I mean? and I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't. We wouldn't get right. comfortable with it, but it's definitely like a new. Yeah, I'm telling you, it becomes a jigsaw puzzle. Gets excited, especially people who are IT, uh, antisocial. Uh, like those are the clients that they love this. They're like, oh god, so they're at home. Yeah, the engineers. Tell the, the story, people. Seth. Tell the story. <laughs> I got a client. Yeah, I know who so, they are too. You know who it is? I yeah. So yeah, uh, he had a, a client that uh, he referred to me for financing and um she was telling me that uh whenever that every friday her and her uh, boyfriend or her fiance they buy a bottle of wine they order in and, and they watch denzel night, and they they binge denzel yeah. <laughs> i'm not sure I'm quite I'm like, do that. Really wow crazy. that's intense yeah i'm not gonna lie i've i've had um <laughs> men and women tell me denzel i listen to you before i go to sleep i've had that I've uh had that. I, I listen to you in the shower <laughs> I listen to you on, when, Sorry, I'm, when I'm cooking. <laughs> it's hilarious. The stories are hilarious. I I have you have to realize his videos run on for at least an hour. Oh, I know. Uh, at yeah. least I know. And they're like, I know. it's a while. To and then it's, you know, and it's that you know smooth monotone. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. very white, but no, it's but like, no, I get it. But it's, it's chill, itself. baby. It's <laughs> chill. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but that's I actually 
that helps people like retain it even longer when it's just they're just listening to it. Yeah. So the fact that it's your numbers, and I send you the recording, go, uh, uh, it's like that's your video that you watch. So when I work with my clients, I make them a, a video. I'm like, just watch this video. See, this is your video. This is your numbers, right? And then when. What do you use for that? Do you use dub? Or he doesn't use dub. When you send. When you send. How do you send the videos to Oh, um, I post them on YouTube. <laughs> this is gonna be on YouTube. Oh gosh, I, I should have told my wife first. <laughs> Don't worry, worry. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get my editor to blur them out. Right, and every right. time we say Tyler, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no. So I anonymous, anonymously will send videos to people. Uh -huh. like, hey, you should watch this video. Mm -hmm. And they're like. Some of my numbers. <laughs> oh no, I don't mind that. Because I can't, I can't say. You can't say their name, yeah. right? It keeps you, the liability yeah. off of me, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, exactly. That, that makes sense. So I'm like, this is not All financual right. advice, but I think you should watch this. We're gonna right. have to. Yeah. I don't care. I got no, no, no secrets. So that, so that's gonna ask my next question, what? right? So, so you do this, right? And you get out of, you get to the point where. All that's really going on is end goal is really just this bucket, right? You're just I'm running my my bills, yeah. And so, so I'm not really needing. What correct. happened? Correct. Once you're at that, temporary. The, the, so here's my philosophy: is I help people initially with velocity banking. Here's how the banks do it. Here's how you can do it. Here's how you can leverage their products to enhance your finances. Eventually, right. I want you over here, and for the banking. Eventually, like. Because you're gonna have more control, more leverage, more security, right? All that, all that good stuff. I know I'm updated status, but I'm just waiting. Okay. So, um, I know in my own finances, I'm at a point where I literally only use Velocity Banking on my cash value collateral line of credit, and I only use Velocity Banking to run bills through credit card and just get thousands and thousands of dollars in cash back rewards and points. That's points. It. That's nice. It. Like it. Yeah. So, but in the, for the most part, in the first couple of years of Velocity Banking, it's debt elimination. Then, for those that get slick, they do Velocity Banking what? to buy properties. And yeah, no, that's good. Like that. What is the percentage of people who do infinite banking to start versus wait? Do you find? Let's go with less than 20% start before yeah. because people are typically focused on debt elimination debt elimination They're like i don't care to tell i'm just you know i have a headache i've been in debt for god knows yep. how many yep. years so, so it's like yeah. a, an emotional thing right so yeah no and that makes sense so what is like what is the typical time frame to go from start to out of debt five to seven years or less okay is the general average of velocity banking and this okay. is everything yep. everything Every. five to seven years or yep. less right in my community it's typically two to four years where they wipe out everything except for the mortgage. And then they're like, I'm ready for infinite banking. Because they got their cash flow to you know, multiple yep. thousands. And they're like, my dude, my mortgage is at 3.2, my mortgage is at 2.9, they've locked it in. They're yeah, like, I don't yeah, care. Nobody wants to pay off that. They're I'm like, never paying off my mortgage. Right <laughs> they're like, yeah. I'm ready to do infinite banking. I've been listening to Chris, I've been listening to Caleb, I've been listening to you know, all these people, and I'm ready to go. Gotcha, no, that makes sense. Yeah, so speaking of, since I, I need to call, um, my policy happens to be with, with Mass Mutual, but I didn't design it really for like the IBC method. So I've been, right. I would actually need to call them and see if I can do a policy change and see if I can add yeah. to it. Since I already kind of had that base yeah. cost. And you're insurable, so I think. Yeah. I think. Are you insurable? <laughs> I will find out. I'll let you know because we keep always saying. Oh, that soda a day is gonna kill you. Seriously, and you're gonna have diabetes at the rate you go. I like, I don't cut drink the soda every out. Day. Every time we go out to dinner, he's like, Mountain Dew, please. Mm. Coke. Mountain Dew is the worst. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Get him. Son. Get him. So when I, when you're ready for a 90 day hard challenge. 90 day? We're going 90 days now. 75. I'm 75. Hard I'll Jeez. do it with you, and I bet you I come out. I can. Turn it off whenever I want. Being recorded, so <laughs> yeah, hold them accountable. Yeah, verbal is binding. <laughs> hold them accountable. So, here we go. <laughs> All right. Well, let's. I'm going to explore this more with you. So yeah. Catches it yeah. down the street. And for those that awesome. are watching that enjoyed this, we got Chris in the house, Seb, the approved guy, Life 180, Tyler, Tyler. also with Life 180, yep. Finance Geek, Denzel Rodriguez, coming to you.
creating valuable content, reach out to any one of us. I'm going to tag us. I'm gonna, you, you use the yeah, at sign yeah, on everything. The new fun and, YouTube thing. And let's have fun together. Let's pay off debt together. Let's make money together. Let's achieve financial freedom. On the faith side, let's serve in the kingdom. Right? Let's do it. Amen. Right. Let's go. Yeah. It. It's good. Awesome. Love good times. It.